So I'm going to jump on here on 2K today. And uh, unfortunately, I'm a Pistons fan. So I'm going to do a realistic kind of wish list off season here and um, dream a little bit because uh, they really haven't done anything for me or any of the other fans since, uh, you know, about 04. So uh, I'm going to try to build around Blake Griffin, that big contract. And um, since I'm one of the few that still believe that he's he's an elite player, he's a superstar. Um, so go here real quick to the contract extensions. And um, there's a lot of money and a lot of people I'm going to dump here. Obviously, I'm going to keep Luke. Um, he's got an option. Um, not sure about Christian Wood yet. But these big contracts and aging players, Henson, McCray, Galloway, um, those guys, Snell, those guys are going to go. Um, thinking about keeping maybe Thon Maker, if he's going to be cheap enough. I mean, he's 22, got a lot of time to progress. So I figured he'd be a nice guy to maybe come off the bench. Um, and I'm going to um, look into drafting a point guard. And um, maybe look into a second round, later round center, and then um, try to get a guy to uh, play center for agency. See if I can find a cheap guy to build around um, Blake. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, simulate to the offseason real quick and um, go from there. All right. So we're in the lottery like I expected. So I'm hopping the draft, and my goal here is to get – um, an exciting young guy that fans will show up for, can make plays, uh, move the ball around. Um, preferably LaMelo ball. He'd be exciting. You know, 6'6 six, six point guard. He can shoot. He gets to the rim. He's cocky. Uh, it'd be fun to watch him run the court with Blake and um, throw the ball around. Kind of a 2.0 lob city like what's going on over there in the Clippers for all those years. Um, if he's not there... Looking to Cole Anthony or a guy like Anthony Edwards. Let's hop in here and see what happens. Very tempting to take Obi. Huge, huge Dayton fan. Love that guy. But grab ball. Of course, we're going to sign him. All right, team player options. Going to get Luke 100%. Um, I still don't think they use him enough, um, but I think he can be a great player. Sit in a corner, space the floor out for guys to run to the rim. Same thing with um, Makai Luke. Young guy, doesn't play much. Stand in a corner, sharpshooter, get tons of buckets. And unfortunately, Tony Snell accepted his option. I might do something with that. Um, we'll see what happens. So my whole plan and my whole thought this offseason is we get the um, pair of DeRozan and Dwayne Casey um, back together. Uh, they had a great relationship when he was coaching with the Raptors. And I figured perfect opportunity, free agent. He's going to want a decent chunk of change. Um, but I think the Pistons can make it happen. Uh, and watching him and Blake run the court uh, together would be beautiful. Uh, both of them get to the rim at will. Uh, be more of a kind of a throwback since neither of them are really great shooters. Blake can shoot the three consistently um, if needed to. But um, that's where Luke comes in and drafting ball and having a guy like um, Kai Luke and re-signing Christian Wood. All right, after doing the free agency, and um, deciding on the rotation and the minutes, this is what I came up with. Um, to me, I think it'd be perfect having guys like Derrick Rose, DeMar DeRozan, and Blake Griffin who can attack the rim, move the ball around and run, and also having a guy like Luke who can hit the corners, uh, catch and shoot, spread the floor for these other guys. I was looking around at centers. Uh, There's a bunch of expensive guys out there. There were younger guys. But I think the best way to go would be to get an older vet to help out. 
Marcus Saul's been there. He's got the experience. And he can also shoot the ball. He can play inside, outside, rebound, help out. Cheap one-year deal. I think a guy like him would be great. Um, of course, I got LaMelo Ball, who I took in the lottery, third round, uh, number three pick overall. He'd be a great guy. You got one year left on uh, Rose's contract. So Ball can learn and come off the bench and lead that bench team. He can learn from a guy like Rose and DeMar and a veteran like us all. Also re-signed Thom Maker. I tried to get Christian Wood, but he wasn't interested in coming back, which I understand because he doesn't want to come off the bench behind Blake. Um, but that's okay because we drafted Sekou last year in the first round. Uh, young, raw. Uh, he was the youngest guy in the draft last year. But I think given minutes, he can play the three, he can play the four, he can attack the rim, he plays great defense. So once again, another guy come off the bench, give you great minutes, and he can learn from these other guys and um, progress to be a great player when they move on. Um, we still have Bruce Brown. They're high on him. I'm not sure uh, how I feel about it, but he can play the one and the two. Great defender. So hopefully he can put in some minutes when needed. And my last guy, I'm going to do a 10-man rotation. Um, you got Makai Luke, like I've said multiple times, sharp shooter. Put this guy in the corner. Um, have him come off screens, run some plays around him. He'd be a great um, catch-and-shoot guy to fill in when um, you don't have – Luke out there on the court spreading it around for you. All right, so how I see the, um, the rotations kind of looking. This would be the starters, obviously. We got Derrick Rose, Luke Kennard, DeMar DeRozan, Blake Griffin, and Marcus All. I still think they, uh, they cheated my boy Blake Griffin out on the overall in 2K this year, but uh, we won't talk about that. And then this would be the bench, guys. Be a nice young core to come out, put in some minutes. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be a platoon thing. I don't think there's enough experience here to get much done offensively. Um, but you got this exciting guy in ball, hopefully, who can get up and down the court. He's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, huge for a point guard. That's going to make so many mismatches for anyone that's guarding him. The dude can attack the rim at will. And looks like he can shoot. Um, anywhere in the gym. So he's definitely got the confidence to throw the ball up. So we'll see how that happens. Bruce Brown, he got a little bit of experience last year, played way more than I would like to see him play, but hopefully be a good guy to come off the bench and help us out. And like I said, I love Makai Luke. He can come in, shoot the ball, spread the court. It's a great player. Sekou, still don't know what we're going to get with him. Very raw, very young, but so much potential. And, um, I think he can come in and uh, hopefully put in some good minutes, uh, especially defensively. The offensive side will come around. He was he was getting some buckets last year. Um, hopefully he'll be able to spread the court a little more and hit some shots. And Thon Maker, he is what he is. Tall guy, very raw, still young, um, but he can spread the court also. So I'm going to jump in, simulate the season, uh, see what happens, and hopefully my wish list and my fantasy of what they will do will pay off. All right, it's obvious that I'm not the greatest GM, apparently, or the Pistons are just cursed. Um, I'll go with both. Uh, 48 wins, not amazing, but uh, we'll get the six seed. Not sure how far we'll go with that, but um, it's better than what we were looking at this year and the year before, that's for sure. Run over here and hop into the stats and uh, see what everybody did on our team. Not great. Um, a lot of guys, double-digit scores. I'd like to see more out of Blake, but in my opinion, he's a you know, 27, 30-point scorer every night. Uh, 2K, really, really hated him, on him after a career season uh, last year, which is kind of blows me away. But 15 points out of him, that's just not good enough, not for $36 million a year. And same with DeRozan. You reach out, you pay the guy $30 million, and he scores 22 points. Not great. So we got a decent amount out of uh, Marcus Saul on that cheap uh, vet deal that we gave him. 15 points, almost nine rebounds. I mean, that's great. Two blocks a game. I'll take that out of a 36-year-old center any day. Would have liked to get more out of Luke. 
10 points at the two position isn't that great. 45%, also not great. He already shot 40% from three. Not acceptable. And a uh, ball off the bench, you know, eight, four, and five. I'd like to see more out of him, but limited minutes coming off the bench behind Rose. Oh, go ahead and jump into the playoffs and see if we can even make it out of round one. All right, and in Detroit Pistons fashion, we get swept in the first round by the Nets. It's worth a shot. It was fun. And uh, I really would still love to see DeMar DeRozan come around. Um, and the new general manager has already said that he wants to keep Blake and Rose for the near future. So hopefully build around those guys, see Derrick Rose stay healthy, feel bad for the guy, one of the greatest talents ever. And finally last year he stays healthy, shows some good numbers the last two years with the Timberwolves and with uh, the Pistons. Um, same thing with Blake. Uh, he killed himself last year trying to carry the team. He had a career year. This year he had a bunch of knee problems. So hopefully with the shortened season, he rests up, comes back, be, uh, becomes a great player again. Would love to see that. And like I said, another superstar after dropping the Drummond contract off on Cleveland and picking up expiring deals like Henson and Brandon Knight. Guys like that. Would be great to see him make another run. It's been since 2004. So I'm dying over here as a Pistons fan. But um, thanks for watching, and hopefully in real life next year, uh, the Pistons are a lot better than a 48-win team, and getting swept in the East in the first round, not going to cut it.